Welcome back to Cuisine with Pauline. I hope you guys are staying safe and I pray that you and your family will continue to be safe through these times um, as we wait out the, the COVID. Okay, so today I just want to share with you uh, a tilapia dish that I'm going to uh, prepare. And for this dish, I am go you're going to need the tilapia. I have already washed and seasoned the tilapia and I will just let you know how I got to this point. I, I didn't want the video to be too long, so I went ahead and uh, pre um, prepped it. So what I did, first of all, I just washed my tilapia with some real lemon or you could use the the um it says real lemon juice but you could use the regular lime or lemon just to squeeze it on it and just rinse it off okay and once i did that i drained it a little and then i poured a little bit of uh vinegar it doesn't have to be white wine vinegar it could be any vinegar okay and i put a little salt just a little salt and a little pepper black pepper now that's the seasoning so far and this is what it looks like. I had it sit in the dish for a little while. And this is what it looks like. The next thing I did, which I'm going to do for you to see, is I'm going to fry it up. I'm going to dip it in a fish fry um, mix right here. And you can use anyone. I hope you can see it. Saturn's fish fry. Okay. And then I fry it in some peanut oil. And of course, you can use any oil of your choice. I just chose to use the peanut oil. I will also be making um, some sorted vegetable. Uh, you could call it braised tilapia if you like. Um, and for that, you will need, again, some pica pepper. Now, this is just pica pepper sauce, as you can see. Uh, but you could use any other sauce. And here is some fish and meat sauce. And I am going to put a little bit of ketchup. It doesn't have to be this brand. You could use any brand. And of course, I love to use my parsley flakes. Over here, I have already cut these vegetables and this is um, some peppers and onions. So I have used different colors, peppers. Now, I love colors, so I'm always gonna be doing that with my dishes. Um, this is some cut onions right here for you and this is some thyme. I love to use thyme in my cooking. So if you just come over here with me, I will show you how I dip the fish in the um, fish fry and then I'm gonna be frying it up okay so here is the fish fry I just poured some on a plate as you can see over here and then I just basically take these up no you don't need any beaten egg you can do that if you like but you really don't need it and then I just put it over here in this mix make sure it's nicely coated over here and I'm just gonna try my oil and it looks ready. So then I just bring it over here and make sure to uh, to just knock off the excess fish fry in it because you that can burn easily if you don't. You don't wanna do that, okay? So I'm gonna try to get all of this in the pot at the same time. And here we go. Now the idea is to fry these until they're nice and golden brown and that's what we're going to try to do right now you don't want to burn them so you want to stay very close to it so you don't burn them now in terms of heat you may be asking so what kind of uh, heat do i use and this is between medium to high not too low because if you put it too low then the fish will become very soggy so you don't want to turn it up too high either because it will fry so quickly and it won't be cooked on the inside, okay? So you just want to take your time with that. Now, this is what it looks like once it's done over here. If you see these, if you can see this nice golden brown color over here, this is ideally what you'd like to see, okay? So this is what we're trying to get to with the rest of it that I'm frying right now. So we're just gonna wait there until that is done. Now I'm gonna bring my, my cut vegetable over here because I'm gonna be preparing it in a in the saucepan on the um in a saucepan on the uh, the stove top. Okay, it's like sauteing it, and then um, to that I'm gonna be adding the, the fish. You don't wanna just cook the fish down in it all together initially. 
because you don't want the fish to get soggy, okay? That's what I'm trying to do. When you're all done, the fish should be nice and whole and the vegetable should not be overcooked. So it shouldn't come out as, um, it shouldn't come out looking like a casserole dish, if you know what I mean. You should be able to separate. And you can look at the fish here. Not quite there yet, so we're just gonna give it a few more minutes. Okay, and let's take a look at these. Got it not ready. Okay, coming on very nicely here. As you can see, it's nicely brown. We may have to turn these back over just for a little bit more to get them a little bit more color. But again, we don't want it to, to be too um to be fried too quickly. Okay, so we're just gonna have a little bit of patience as we wait on these little pieces. So I have my sauces again all ready to go, which is what I'm gonna be using for the fish. Now, if you need to add a little bit more pepper because I haven't put too much spice in it, um, you can add some crushed pepper if you're really if you really like a lot of spice, you can put some crushed pepper or you can put some um, bottle pepper or even a little bit more um, grown pepper. But I am just trying to take it easy on the pepper right now because not everyone likes a lot of pepper. We from the islands, we love to cook with, with we like when our food has a little kick to it. So, but I like to be able to make everyone enjoy it and taste, you know, put, it, put out as much um, pepper as they like in it. And as you can see, you don't want to put too much oil in the pot. You want to put just enough to fry the fish because you don't want them to be all, you know, to soak up too much oil. So be careful on that. It's not like you're deep frying the fish like you do with chicken, for example. Just enough oil in the, in the pot to, um, to fry the fish and to give it some color. Now, if you so choose, you could saute your vegetable in a different pot. But I am going to use the same pot. What I'm going to do is just take some of the oil out. If there's too much oil left over, I'm going to just take some out. Because you don't want too much oil in your um in the pot afterwards. I'm just turn this around a little. Come on, very nice here. Let's see this one. Yeah, beautiful. That's the color you want. And some of you may be wondering, well, can I just eat the fish just like that? Of course you can. The fried fish. So you can eat it this way if you so too. I just want to take it a little bit further. So it could make a nice dinner plate. Okay? I'm just going to start spraying some of this oil out. Because when I'm sauteing my vegetable, I don't want to have a lot of oil in it. And this should be done. Okay? You can put it through that. Yep, this is perfect. Perfect color. And these are little, um, if you know how they, they sell the tilapia, this is boneless, this is filet, tilapia filet. Usually, um, up, there is a section on it that's really thick. If you notice know, these are a little thicker, they need a little bit more time in the pot. This inner part of it will be normally um, fried thicker, okay? And if you like, you could also slice these thicker pieces. It's totally up to you. I choose not to do that. There we go. So it's a very, very quick dish. I do it when you come home from work and you don't have a lot of time to spare. Okay, so here we go. That's the last piece. I'm going to take that out for a minute. And then I'm going to add my vegetables. Perfect. So this is what it looks like when you're all done. Okay. So I am now going to just put my vegetable in the oil over here so that it can be sauteed. I like to put my hand in a little bit. Put it all in there. you can cover this. All that is happening, you can just, you just cover it a little bit. So 
So because of the amount of vegetable, as you can see here, I might need to put back some of the oil I took out of it. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, they need to take it out. But I just wanted to be sure that it didn't have too much in it. So for this now, because you don't want to overcook it or cook it. So to this, I'm going to start adding my sauces. As I mentioned before. So here we go. Meat and fish sauce. Add a little of that. I'm going to add a little pick of pepper to this. I'm going to put a little water in this to rinse the rest of it out. And at this point, you really do not need to add ketchup. If you do not like ketchup, you don't need to add it. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit because I like that. I just poured some water in the bottle to get the rest of it out. And there you go. As you can see, it's nice and sizzling right now. And I'm going to add just a little bit of ketchup. Turn it down just a little bit because I don't want it to be overcooked. Just enough to get me to add everything in. And then... I am going to add just a little tiny bit more water to that. Some more water from my kettle. Just like that. Because there are people who like to have some gravy. And depending on what you're going to be eating it with, you might need some gravy. So here you go. You can totally add a little bit of butter too. I'm going to add a little butter to that. Not too much. Just a little. Right there, that should be enough. So I'm gonna have some butter. And then we are gonna now put back our fish. Now, carefully now, this is the part that you wanna be careful with. Because like I mentioned before, you don't wanna have it too soggy. So once you put them back piece by piece, and just pour that nice juice over it. Lay them flat and pour that nice juice over it. Here we go. Make sure you leave space for the rest. That nice juice over it. And you see you get to eat your fish whole. So it's not like squished. They are not squished up. And it looks a lot better on the plate for presentation purposes. Rather than getting it all squishy. Okay, and there you go. Just want to make sure that all of the fish get a little bit of the, the sauce on it. Here you go. Over here. More. Put on this one over here. And there you go. This is what it looks like. And this is the finished product. And right now, you want to turn this off because like I said before, you don't want it to be overcooked and the fish is already cooked. And that's what it looks like when it's all done. And I'm going to just put a little bit of uh, parsley, my, one of my favorite things, to just to garnish. There we go. That's what it looks like. Now, if you're having guests over, and you're gonna be serving buffet style, you might wanna just put it in one of these dishes and you can lay them down at the bottom of the dish, just like that. See, you're having your fish nice and whole. It's not all squished up. Much better from a presentation standpoint and from a serving standpoint. See how nicely this looks in the plate. Perfect. 
think it looks a little bit more appetizing too because it's not all mushy and now what you want to do is if i'm not getting in your way here is you want to just now garnish with all of your vegetable there we go and here is your braised braised tilapia okay i'm just trying to get all the juice out of the, the pot here so i'm just going to turn this over just like that Okay, and see, this didn't even take us, I don't even think it took us 30 minutes to fix. Now, depending on, of course, depending on how much you're going to be serving. So I'm just going to come back over here. So I am just going to show you now how I would actually serve it on a plate. Now I had fixed this dish earlier today. This is candied yam. And I will, this will be another recipe that I will be showing you. Some of you may already know. And this is wedge Irish potato. Some of you may already know how to prepare that, okay? But another day I will prepare it for you so you can see. So you can serve this with, this fish with any other um, carbohydrate dish of your choice. It looks pretty on the plate with white rice. That much I can tell you. Okay guys, so here is the finished product plated for you so that's your braised tilapia with candied yam over here some wedge baked potato irish potato over here and i will walk you through how i do that at a later date in another video and your white rice garnish with some lettuce and tomato and it is all ready to go okay hope you've enjoyed that and i hope you will try it and um well and if it doesn't try and try again until you succeed okay thank you continue to stay safe and stay blessed bye